Moaning, 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 y'all. It's your girl. I'm out here, of course, in this code vid craziness because I had to do some blood work. I almost forgot that I had to do this damn blood work. Um, I didn't think about it till yesterday. I was sitting on the phone with my mom, like, oh snap, I gotta um, see where I'm supposed to get it done at because. I was able, luckily, to go to the lab that's down the street from my house. Well, going down the highway, but not like super far from where I actually stay. Sorry if it's a lot lower than normal because we got this new little thing for the phones or whatever. And you can put it on the dashboard. It sticks to the back of the phone. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, lately I have been getting my labs done at the cancer center you know i have been going to the cancer center for iron infusions and stuff like that and so normally like nowadays my oncologist and my rheumatologist they've been sharing labs so uh whatever labs my oncologist has been ordering i have to get it done uh drawn at the cancer center but um my rheumatologist she ordered she adds on like my liver enzymes the alt or whatever um, because the, the, basically the blood work that the oncologist is going to order, she was going to order anyway. And ain't no sense of me getting stuck that many times for the same damn test and ain't going to make no sense. So they kind of share the results, so to speak. But because she was the one that put them in last time and I missed my appointment with the oncologist, um, that, which is crazy y'all. Cause this week coming up, <clears throat> I have a colonoscopy and endoscopy which basically they're going through both ends at the same damn time, I guess, to check to make sure I don't have the stomach gist uh, situation that I mentioned in an earlier video, you know, in my earlier videos or whatever, just to make sure that I'm clear for a soft tissue tumor in my stomach. So um, I have to get that done, y'all, and the struggle is finna be real because now I gotta do this kind of like, almost like a cleanse, you might as well say, because my um, I have to go and get my, I mean, do this um, like a clear broth diet or whatever where I can only either have black coffee and who the hell wants to drink that? Um, like this is all like like seven days leading up until the day before. And actually the day before is when I actually have to do the clear broth diet. But um, I also have to um, adhere to like kind of a, a strict little diet leading up to that point like i can't have any popcorn nuts um let's see oatmeal um anything with grains whole wheat bread and stuff like it which is cool because i'm a picky eater any damn way so i don't eat bread like that to begin with so it's not like i'm really missing out um i can't have any fried meats um can't have any raw vegetables like everything has to be cooked like i can have a meal the clear broth diet really don't come until the day before even though my husband bought me up like eight damn uh containers of chicken broth but you know um as long as i can put me a little bit of um vegetables and stuff in there i think i should be all right you know saute them up put them in the broth or whatever and be cool um, I don't really have to have the noodles, you know what I'm saying? And that's cool. I just need something that's going to sustain me because we all know that stuff is a damn struggle. And I've been, I don't know if I, if y'all remember, if y'all can recall on one of my videos, um, I had, um, when I was in hospital last year, last February, um, the first week I was there for two weeks and the first week because when my lupus flares up I don't know about other people, but when it flares up my throat flares up too like everything is swollen So it's not just my joints and my hands my knees and stuff like that It's actually in my throat too and it almost gives you the feeling like you have strep, but you don't you know um, And I know that to be a fact because they tested me for everything my own uh, pneumonia all that stuff Hey, Krispy Kreme line is is bumping honey but yeah um they put me on a um liquid diet the first week that i was in the hospital so um needless to say of course you know you lose weight on top of being pumped up full of those fluids and and medicines and stuff like that mainly because um you know, you got to have something to sustain. You have something to go in your stomach. So I was doing insure shakes, which I hate because to me, they taste like spit. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. And I don't, um, I mean, not that I'm going around tasting spit, but y'all know what I'm saying. It's the consistency. It's like, it's, it's, I don't know. It's just not enough. It's not solid enough for me. 
And so, you know, when you don't have like solid food in your stomach, your body is kind of feeding off of itself, hence you lose a lot of weight. You know, that's you're like my fat content went down quickly. And I'm the type of person that if I haven't eaten, you know what I'm saying? Or if, if I'm in a controlled environment like that, I'm going to drop that weight quick. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I'm in pain due to my lupus flaring up because for one, I'm already in discomfort. So I don't really do too much moving around. What is that? Oh. Do too much moving around. And then I just feel like, um, you know, I got to figure out what best suits me in that moment. You know what I'm saying? As far as like nutrition wise you know what i'm saying because there's some days that i was in the hospital i would have insure shakes lined up i probably wouldn't crack them open till around midnight mainly because i was just in so much pain i could barely move you know what i'm saying to even open one up and drink it um sorry y'all hadn't really been getting any videos with my hair with my roots <laughs> well a little bit uh more intact a little bit better looking um yeah your girl been going through okay um, y'all caught my last videos and stuff about like my son and all that that pretty much is still the same um, I just have to let him find his way and when he realizes that nobody has his back like his mother does Then I mean he'll be all the better, but you know, he's 18. You know how it is with kids. They silly so but I'm gonna be back y'all gotta go run and Walmart and uh, pick up a couple of things or whatever before I make it back home because mind you, you know, I've been on restriction through my doctor or whatever so um, This is the only time I can really make a run and plus I got to be home by a certain time so that my husband um, Can go to work So I'll be back later <laughs>